House Leader of the Third Party. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Paid ads like, quote, BCLNG will reduce global emissions are ubiquitous on social media, buses, highway billboards across the province. But fracked gas is a fossil fuel, like coal and oil, and it's exacerbating, not solving the climate crisis, Mr. Speaker. It's calling, killing 34,000 Canadians each year, according to the Canadian Association of Physicians for the Environment. Just as we moved to ban harmful tobacco advertising in the past, it's time to ban misleading and deceptive fossil fuel ads today. The federal NDP understands this, Mr. Speaker. Last month, NDP MP Charlie Angus tabled legislation to prohibit fossil fuel advertising, stating we need to put human health ahead of the lies of the oil sector. Meanwhile, in BC, photos and quotes from the Premier and the Minister of Energy and Mines are adorned in these LNG ads. This government's silence makes, silence makes them complicit. My question is to the Premier, will this government ban misleading fossil fuel advertising in our province? Minister of Environment. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker, and I appreciate the member's passion for taking action to reduce emissions and the question. But the fact remains that we have a robust climate plan. We're committed to implementing all of the various pathways in the plan, including dealing with emissions from the oil and gas sector and ensuring that we communicate to the public about what a low carbon future looks like as we transition to clean energy. That's where our focus is. House Leader, third party supplemental. Uh, Mr. Speaker, when Richard Blanchard, our first governor, appeared on the shores of, uh, of our province, uh, he found British Columbia to be uh, a company town, Mr. Speaker. And from the minister's response, it's very clear that we still are acting like that very same resource colony company town, Mr. Speaker. The fossil fuel lobby is driving a false advertising campaign in our province, and this Minister of the Environment seems to be okay with it. These false ads create confusion, they distort public opinion at critical points in efforts to combat the climate crisis. The government has a responsibility to protect the public from misinformation and disinformation, Mr. Speaker. We have a responsibility to ensure key facts are presented accurately. France, the UK, other jurisdictions, well, they've banned this greenwashing. So my question is to the Minister of Public Safety, the actual minister responsible for business practices and the Consumer Protection Act. Will he follow the lead of his federal colleague, Charlie Angus, and will he commit to amending the, the act to prohibit dangerous and irresponsible greenwashing advertising, Mr. Speaker? Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker. And to the member, I'll simply say again, the best way to present a case for a low-carbon, clean energy future is to present the case as government, to talk about what we're doing, and to put facts out. If the member believes that some people are putting out misinformation, the best thing the government can do is put out accurate information, talk about what we're doing, talk about all the benefits of a clean energy future, and ensure that British Columbians understand that. Members.